Oh, hey guys, what's up? All month long here at Vitamin Shop, we are offering crazy deals on gym weed. Come to your local Vitamin Shop, cop some gym weed, and find me. Love you. Hey guys, what's up? I might have salad in my teeth. I just ate. But anyways, welcome back to another episode of Mommy and Daddy Talk. Oh, excuse me. Mommy has killed off Daddy. He is currently not with us anymore. Rest in peace. My condolences to everyone who cared about him. I wasn't one of those people. I'm glad he's gone, honestly. He did did a lot of bad things to me. He actually hurt me really, really badly. And I'm just glad that he's gone. I'm so happy he's gone. <clears throat> um, anyways, enough of the sad. Um, we have a lot to talk about this week, so I'm excited. Oh, welcome back. I just want to make sure it wasn't poisonous. Bradley got Sylvia a sandwich and he did in fact take a bite out of it. I had Don't to make sure it wasn't poison. We're, we're, like both, when the president, we're both like, chewing gum, so we can't chew it loudly. You chew your gum very obnoxiously. I know. I chew my gum like a white girl from the valley. Maybe take it out of your mouth. Never. Yo. Tell them. What? Intro it. What? Oh. Oh, my God. Guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Mommy and Daddy Talk. Should be called Daddy and Mommy Talk because dads are more important. But women are, are, are on top of good discussion today. Yeah, we're, women. We were actually... Brad and I, for the first time in a long time, we were in a car alone together. I we thought agreed I was, on things. We agreed on we agreed on a lot of things. We uh, were, yo, hand me one of those things. Yep. We were alone together in a car driving to a raw gear photo shoot, and we had some amazing conversations that we're gonna, you know, include you guys on. First of all, we did agree on one thing: men and women are different. Okay. Yes, which is good. Men and women are completely different. It's good. They should be different. Whatever. Um, but well, you know, we saw, we saw a clip, right? We saw a clip of, yeah. um, this couple going on a first date and the man and the woman split the bill. It's going viral right now. The clip's going viral. Uh, they split the bill. Okay. On the first date, whatever. Well, <clears throat> technically the guy was, f the guy is filming himself getting a reaction from a girl where he wanted to split the bill. Yeah. I don't know if he did or not, but uh, you can continue. I just don't think he wanted to split the bill because it was a weird. It was a weird thing because you know nowadays it's, it's been this thing to talk about like how men or women, either like traditional or non traditional, and like you know sharing the bill, fronting the bill. And it was funny to watch a guy. You know, normally it's like a girl filming like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was a guy filming it. So go ahead. Yes, and he wanted to split the bill, and they did. They both put their cards down, went half and half, and he was like. Well, I didn't eat any of the appetizers, so like we should split the bill. <clears throat> First of all, that's crazy to crazy to say, I feel like. But whatever. I'm I'm for splitting the bill. I'm for it. I think I mean, On a first date too? I think it kind of depends. I think if he was like super eager to want to go out with you and he asked you out on the date and he picked the restaurant, like if he made the plans, I feel like maybe the first date fine, let him pay. But I, I think yeah. as a girl, you should always offer. Yeah. I guess I saw this. I saw, yeah, I, I respect that. I appreciate that. But seeing it and watching a guy film it is like, you know, because he, uh, he's filming, he's going to put it on social media. Yeah, that was it's kind like, of a dumb move, like, I thought. First of all, the asking about the appetizers thing was crazy. Yeah, like, well, we have to split it. You, like, you had you appetizer, I didn't even touch. I didn't even touch the appetizer but that you ordered. I think I think what's weird is, yeah, the, the filming of it, like, knowing that you're probably going to get, like, that reaction that you're, like, trying to film for. Yeah. And also, like, if you don't want to pay for something on a first date, because that was kind of his initial reasoning, like, I'm on a first date, like, why should I have to pay? And I could kind of see, but it's like, then don't take someone to eat. Yeah, you made a great point. Like, if you don't if you don't have the funds for it or you don't want to spend the money for it, first of all, don't pick an expensive yeah. restaurant. Go for a hike, dude. Go for a hike. Go buy get coffee. Water. Yeah. Buy her a water. Get a coffee. You know, five bucks, whatever. <clears throat> You can you could pick a more inexpensive date, so then the money isn't even an issue. Yeah, especially on a first date. Yeah, but I think, I think if a man if a if you want the man to be traditional, like pay for the bill and everything, as a woman you need to be traditional too. Yeah, well, I know, I know, I'm not traditional with the shit that I do. The 
that I post on social media, the things that I say, I don't think I'm the traditional woman for any guy. Yeah. Hence why I don't expect the guy to be paying for everything left and right and doing all of all of these things that maybe a traditional man would do because I'm not a very traditional woman. Yeah. But I feel like you want I feel like you want to be traditional. I but do. But your work isn't. Oh my god. Work yeah, isn't. my work isn't. Yeah. But I'm hoping like, you know, maybe after my work is done then I'll be more traditional. I would love to I mean, that's my my all jokes aside, when I have a family, I will cook and clean for the children. Yeah. Right now as a 22-year-old girl, like if I'm dating a guy, he can do his own laundry. As a 22-year-old What if you lived woman, with him? See, I think if you live with him it's different. Okay. If you're living with him and he's per as a girl, if you're living with a guy and he's working and he's paying for everything, and you're like stay at home, fold his laundry. Yeah, you, ha I feel you like have. You have to. to be you cleaning. have to. But I feel like right now, like <clears throat> obviously, I'm not like I'm not at that phase with anyone that I'm living with someone or whatever. Right. I'm not going to do anyone's laundry. You're living with your mom. Does your mom do your laundry? No, no, I do my own laundry. Who cooks most of the time? My mom does cook most of the time. That's dope, though. She does. She I does cook that. most of the time. She cooks well, all the time. She's good. What, what I find interesting about this whole clip, uh, with this, this specific clip of this guy, is like, I guess something that's become really popular just on the internet in general is people filming themselves, like, complaining about it, like, and trying to get a reaction. Because obviously he filmed it with the intent of, like, I'm going to post this. Because yeah, he, like, filmed his face, filmed her talking. Yeah, it didn't feel, no, it never showed her, but it was just his face. It was like, as if he was, like, sitting here, he's like, I think we should split the bill, like whatever. Also, like, if I'm the other person, I'm like, I'm thinking, like, why are you filming, dude? Yeah, I don't think she knew that he was filming. Yeah, because it did look low. It, it looked, looked low like key. too low. Yeah, it looked low key. But it's weird. It's becoming this weird phenomenon, like filming everything. What do you think? What do you think? Would you make a girl like say you go on a first date and the date was kind of mid, and you took her to a bougie restaurant? Would you be like, hey, okay, this is funny though. You're asking me funny questions. Would you split the if? Food? I took a girl on a first date and it was mid. Like she sat there and was just like, like it was a really bad first date. Like you were just kind like of the vibes turned right on. Yeah, the whole time. You know what I would do? The jokes in me want to be like, oh, I'd I be like, yo, wallet. I gotta go to the bathroom and then never come back and let her pay no, for it. No, you wouldn't. That would be so funny though. I wouldn't do that, yeah. but I like in my mind, the kid in me really wants to do that. Mm -hmm. Like if it was a terrible, like imagine the kind of date where you're like eating, you're just like, so what'd you do today? Nothing. Oh, Ugh. okay. And then you're like, well, I did blah, 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 blah. You say a bunch of stuff and you're trying to incur conversation. And then it's like, oh, that sounds fun. I'm not going to lie. Part of me would really want to troll them. Yeah. I hate. Is that no, it's not. It's so I, I hate situations like that where I feel like conversation is forced. Do you ever feel like that? Or are you okay with silence? I'm great with silence. <laughs> I love silence. But I do like conversation in settings. Like some, some things it's like, otherwise... I don't know. It just feels awkward. I'm okay with silence too, but I hate, like, sometimes I like to try to at least talk about something a little bit deeper, but I feel like sometimes. Yeah, I, I don't, um, I definitely prefer to have deeper conversations because I surface level is really, I mean, maybe because I'm 34 and I've like talked about all the surface level shit for so long where you're just like, dude, you just want someone to be like, yo, do you ever think about space? And then you're like, did we really land on the moon? And you start talking about conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. And then you start talking about like drugs and what? You're not following me there? No drug, no drug talk. Okay, no drug talk. Um, or like, like, are you afraid of clowns? So these are your deeper level conversations. Is space I'm clowns and drugs? I'm, I'm trolling. <clears throat> Bradley, get it together. I'm trolling. No, honestly, I like talking about people, like where they're at, like what's going on in someone's mind, like trying to yeah. figure out, like what do you really care about? No, you're so good at conversation. If I were to give you anything, it'd be that you're. So I think good that's at the only thing I'm good at now. No, you're good at like a few other things. You're good at. You're. Good. You just paid uh, for my lunch. Yeah, that was that, that was, was nice. huge. That we was started good. arguing in front of the register. Yeah. You were like, whatever she wants. I was like, yeah, whatever she wants, because she's super rich, richer than me. And then it was funny, because the guy was like, he had like a f***ed up hand, because he he, uh, he he drives a motorcycle, he said. Yeah. And he f***ed hand, I've got stitches, 12 stitches, I think he said. Yeah. And uh, and then he was like, no, I watched the podcast. And then she all of a sudden was like, oh, no, I pay for stuff all the time, too. <laughs> I was like, that's <laughs> such a lie, dude. You don't, It's funny, like, mm. Bryce said this you too. I saw it on a clip. Someone just clipped up something, probably from the Zoo channel. No, it was from my YouTube so channel. You're, sorry, yeah. So they clipped like Zoo stuff. They clipped your YouTube. They clipped mine. 
And he was like, you don't pay for shit. And it's funny. I do, you though. print money. You print money. I don't print money. but You're a printer. Bryce has a point. Whenever we went to, we went to my, I've traveled. Bryce with, prints money, too, though. I've traveled with Bryce a good amount. Yeah. He prints way more money than I print. You guys are confused. You guys all print more money than I print. I don't know. Anyways, we were at dinner or whatever. And. Fuck, I, Just tell the truth. I always offer to pay. At least for my section. I always offer. Like section and like you like, guys are like a club? No, no, no. I'm saying like for my part. I'm like, yo, your Bryce, portion. what's your Venmo? Yeah, my portion. Got it, got it. Like my portion of the bill. Um, Like what's your Venmo? I'll pay, pay for it. He's like, no, nah, you're good. Like I have offered it to him. Um, But also the boys, like if we go out and get food, I usually order something small. I don't do the whole appetizer stuff. None of they that. They order a bunch of shit and They drinks. order a bunch of shit drinks and i yeah. usually like my portion of the bill is probably 30 bucks which yeah, yeah. i'm more than happy to pay the 30 bucks yeah but i'm not ordering like oh five tequila shots or like also the i know i get apps it. I get or it. this or that literally i sound like that tiktok that we saw yeah like, i didn't hey, the apps, i didn't so. order an app though <laughs> no nah, but like it's uh, listen i don't give a f who you are it's just i see a dude saying that and i'm like dude what dude yeah come on man a girl like you're just kind of cheap, which is not a bad thing. I'm so frugal. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. For sure, especially in this industry, it's a good thing. Because yeah. a lot of people get money in this industry because, you know, we talk about printing money. And, and then it so, comes so easily that I don't think people really understand the value of it. Yeah. No. You know, like I saw a clip the other day. Um, Aiden was asking Eddie, who's a billionaire, obviously, who owns steak and he owns oh, yeah, cake. Yeah. And he was like, yo, how much is $1,000 to you? Because Eddie's a billionaire. Yeah. Right? And he's lit, like he's literally printing money. Like that guy prints cash. Yeah. Insane. And crypto obviously prints that too, which essentially is cash. But Eddie said to him, like, a thousand dollars still a thousand dollars. Like you have to treat it that way. Otherwise, like, you know, shit can go south for you. And then he even referenced how like Aiden was print like obviously Aiden prints money too. And he was saying how like, you know, like you were in a position because like I don't know how many months ago before he stopped spending so much money, I guess. Yeah. But, like, I think a lot of people, and Aiden will always be fine, regardless. But Aiden will always be fine, but these other influencers. A um, lot of people waste a lot of money, dude, to look like I got. That's the thing is I rather always look like, like, okay, I do love jewelry, but not like a Cartier or like. Yeah. I do love gold jewelry. I love gold jewelry. But also I think of gold jewelry as an investment. If you buy non-designer gold jewelry, it's an investment. But I think it's always better to look. Like not rich, but have money than to look rich and not have money. Perfect. This was abortion baby ring. Steve got me it for the aborted baby that he said I had, which is really dark. Back when me and Steve used to film dark YouTube videos. Wow. Like Can I we, see it? Yeah, he, we went. We I went to his so house. You aborted he, a child, and he. That this was is the a joke. Nice ring. It's a very nice ring. Yeah, he gave me that ring and a samurai sword for a fake aborted baby shower. And he told his audience that I had an aborted baby, which is like kind of fucking dark. And then he gave me a ring for it. This is 14 karat. This is heavy too. No, that's a real, yeah. That's a nice, that's a nice ring. Steve, I mean that dude, I remember at one point Steve was like, I went on a plane with him and like oh, five gorgeous. random like thoughts. And uh <clears throat> he bought all of them jewelry. And then he bought me a bracelet i think at the time yeah he bought me a bracelet where the f is that bracelet oh no i know where it is never mind oh, like he it? bought me a diamond bracelet yeah oh, ask me where, yeah, where do you put your <laughs> um he, get, he got me a diamond bracelet but dude steve was like madness when yeah. he was on youtube just doing crazy you gotta get him back on youtube we need to he start a petition printing money oh he was printing money he was printing money Still doing great. I know he Still is. Still doing but, great, yeah. But like he was he was he was reckless. But part of his recklessness is so funny because we talk about creators like being reckless with their money. He did it with the intention of like, but this is also gonna be a part of content and a part of like his overall kind of just craziness. Yeah. Some people just do it because they're like, <clears throat> look at me, I got stuff, look at me, I got stuff. But they don't really have it no, like that. No, Steve, I feel like Steve isn't in the way to flaunt money or to look like he's better. I feel like a lot of people on social media, especially I've seen it with a lot of girls too. I guess yeah. guys do it too, but you buy these nice things. So like maybe you think that it makes you look better or that people will like you more because you drive like this car or because you um, like have this designer bag. Or Yeah. You know who's really great at buying really nice cars and like using it for content? Kevin. Remember Kev? Yeah. Kev's fucking, he was my videographer for a long time, but 
he was like really good, but he knows so much about cars. Well, he'll like get a car at a certain value and then be able to sell it, make money, and then flip it, get another car, make money. He's yeah. like the best ever at that. Shit. Mm. He's got a skill for that. It's That'd be it's cool. A, it's impressive. Anytime I try to figure out car stuff, I always ask Kev, like, is this worth it or not? Yeah. He's very smart. Good um, to know. But yeah, like if you're a car influencer, then like maybe buy a nice car because it's a part of your content. Yeah. But a lot of people do it just to be like, look at me. I'm, I got money. Yeah. Corny. Corny is to me. But yeah, man, the, I want to get back into the, the male female because I feel like we could have good conversations about it because we're both kind of like dudes. And uh, what? Huh? We're both kind of like dudes. No, I'm like, I'm, he's, a, I mean, me and Sylvie. Oh, yeah. You Sylvie guys, like, I'm a woman. I don't know what you're so, saying. No, not at all. I would never treat you that way. That's crazy. Me and Sylvie are like bros and uh, we know the value. So what of do stuff. you think? What? What? What, what, what do you want to ask me? No, I, I guess like, I no, guess. The point of my conversation was that if a man is traditional doing all of those things or whatever, then you should be also a traditional woman. You cannot be a non-traditional woman and expect a man to do all the traditional things and pay for everything when you're a whore. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's what fucking, I'm saying. That's a fact. That's a fact. If, you're, if you expect a guy to like be exclusive to you, to pay for everything, what else do the traditional men do? Take care of you, Take pay care for your of, shit, like, said, all that kind of shit. Take care of you. Like, well, what happened was whatever. I think the internet made girls be like, which I get it, like innately, like women are supposed to be creatures of like, they need protection, they need to be taken care of. Like this is like in our DNA. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And yeah, I get yeah. that. If a woman, if a man's going to do all of these roles for a woman, the least the woman can do is commit herself to this one guy. A hundred percent. And then. But that's the problem with the internet. The internet has now given girls like, I can get all these things. And then, oh, that guy's also giving me attention too. What can I also get from him too? That's when you create the whole yeah. like. Well, I think the problem with the internet is even if you have all of, if you have one guy fulfilling all of these needs for you, protecting you, providing you with money or shelter, whatever, all of this stuff, but then she's still like subconsciously looking for other options or, you know, who's in her DMs, maybe someone better. Yeah, better. You know, quote, yeah, quote unquote. Not better, but like better comes along and then she wants to see what she can get from him or he's new, exciting, whatever. Why do you think girls do that? I don't know. I think sometimes for girls, it's like, what, what's the most? And you know this, obviously. We've had conversations about this. But, like, sometimes some girls or just people in general, like, what's the most I can get? Yeah. But how? how what, but to, to go further, like, why do you think it's hard? Like, and again, I, I think part of it is ingraining girls' DNA to, like, look for better. Which is, it's like, I'm not, I'm not saying they're bad for that. I'm not saying they're good for that. I'm just saying it's like, that's also a part of it. Because you take it back to like the Roman era, because I think about this all the time. Um, the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire. Yeah. <laughs> no, just just back in the day, it was like, what would happen was dudes would come in and like if they if they came in, they won the the fight. Mm -hmm. They everything was theirs because they killed all the dudes. Yeah. And then they didn't kill the women. Some of them probably, but then they just kept like the women were just like, oh, these are the guys now, and then they just like so like over time, I think like that's ingrained in the DNA of like. Oh, those guys were better because they won, right? I have, to, I have, I have to be here now. But now, since it's ingrained in the DNA, hundreds and hundreds of years later, women are just thinking like, even though the guy's not dead, he's still there doing everything for you. You're like, well, that guy's better. Yeah, I think it depends on the woman. I think some women, just like some men are, like it's just people in general. I'm not on only yeah, women. Yeah. I think it's also bad just because of the internet. I think in our the internet circle, it's makes bad. it so much easier to see other people. And you're so like, there's so much more accessibility to other people. Yeah. Whatever. Not only that, but so the 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 answer is don't let women use social media. Get your girl off social media, dude. You know what's funny about that? I have a friend of mine who I, I when I first met his girl, his girl had like a thousand followers, literally not even two three two three hundred followers, private account, and uh, I was like, dude, whatever you do, do not let her get popping on the internet. And then he did. And then he did. Because he was like a person on the internet. And then uh, that backfired. That backfired. That backfired? Oh, I think I know what story you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. that backfired. But it, but it is what it is. It's just, it's it's one of those interesting things where I just remember, he even said to me, he's like, dude, you were right. Yeah. I was like, careful, bro. But, but I think it also depends on the woman. Because I know I know myself and I know a lot of my girlfriends and a lot of us. It's not looking what most we can get from a guy. It's just the connection you have with that one guy. 
Yeah. And still I get treated like still we get put through the ringer. Maybe. So maybe I need to change my mindset to that. What's the most I can benefit from a man? Ooh. Maybe that's the mindset I need so that's, I can be a sugar baby. That's dark, though. I feel like that's just a tough road. Yeah, but once you get hurt too many it, times. But no one hurts you. No one hurts. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? No, no one hurt me. No. Because then you get to a place where, like we were talking earlier, we were driving. You get to a place where, like, then you just kind of keep going in those circles and it's like, what what are we really valuing then? Is are we valuing people or are we just valuing what, what we can get, like what things we can have from a person? Because oh, that's like the bigger problem. A, a lot of people in life, it's not just social media, always um, go down that role of money or power or whatever, and they, they burn relationships or friendships or bonds over that because yeah. they're selfish. Yeah. And it's a, bad, it's a bad way to live, I think. Because then yeah. at the end of the lot, I feel like a th- you know, when you're laying on your deathbed or like when your life has come to an end, you won't have people. Sure, you'll have money, but what what's that going to get you? Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how people just burn bridges. Like the same people that would treat me like, oh, this guy was a bad guy. They go around and f- people that f- me while they're pretending that they're f- friends with them. And it's like, dude, w- what's happening? What's like, there's snakes. Would you say fucking, snakes eating snakes or yeah, something? Yeah, they just eat their own f- tails, man. It's interesting. But this brings me to another question I have for you then. Um, do you think marriage is a good idea or a bad idea? Like, not in not in and of its like self. Obviously, like I think most people want to be married and want to have a family and want to you know to further their family and their family name and do it with someone who's important and special. But do you think marriage is like something that's I don't know that people are really trying to do nowadays? Like, and it's weird because we talk about this from a perspective that's like because of this industry we ha- we have these sort of like I think pessimistic ideas around it um i think in general it's probably still what people really truly want and no, I, I want marriage you do you know so badly and you know what's funny is i think i i know i do because whenever i talk to someone um <clears throat> not even in that way but even my friends or whatever it is i try to envision like what our lives would look like together like in the future if we were married which probably isn't the best mindset because that's how you that's how you force things and that's how you set things up for failure i don't know though i feel like that is the mindset because that's the that's the like are you just then are you just dating just to not do any like is that your goal you know what i'm saying like that should be the goal like if i i don't even date like that but if i were to date like that i feel like that's all i would envision is trying to see what my life would look like in 10 years with this person like could it work like i feel like that's the way that's the best way to date otherwise you're just like what are you doing just wasting your time and your energy and on what? On something that's frivolous and poor. I feel like you should be uh, like, I'm spending look at us. my we're time. Like two old souls. I know it's crazy. We're, we're <sighs> I'm growing up. So am I. I think I'm you're grown. already kind of grown. Yeah, you're finally growing up. I'm proud of you. Yeah, it just to be. Well, I think I think dudes do genuinely just take a little bit longer than girls. Yeah, I know, but twelve years. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I had a tough road, but my road was. Oh my god! Muddied yeah. with a bunch of that not even in the sense of marriage or relationships that just made me be less trusting of people and like their intentions and you know it's okay mo- we're winning you back i know i dude i feel that i feel so much better about life i'm not gonna lie i told you just a couple pods ago but i feel so much better about all that kind of because yeah. i was in a dark spot for like i don't know how many years being like no they wouldn't do me like that and it's like well there it goes it's okay now we're we're on a good road we are You're i feel great road. man i love this at the zoo opening, I realized like you've built something great. Like we've built something great too, but obviously that's on a smaller scale of what you've built. But. Yeah, but the, but all this stuff adds to it for yeah. sure because you know it's a continuation of everything, right? Like there's still I'm sure there's people today who know me because of this content and not because of my old content. Just straight up, that's true. Yeah. So I'll on TikTok, on. they're like, "Oh, I see your pod," and I'm like, w- w- "Oh, really? Which pod?" And they're like, "Oh, the one with you and that annoying girl." And I'm like, <gasps> "I'm like, don't you dare call her oh. annoying." You got my back. Yeah, like yeah. She's sometimes only, but not always annoying. Oh. Yeah, but I had to give him a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I'm like, but don't disrespect her. She's cheap, but like she means well. Right. Yeah. Like, so if someone, <clears throat> okay, so let's, I have a question for you. Okay, let me set yeah. it up first by saying the story of, so Sam had Neon's back, right? That guy, Vi- Vitality, is it Vitality? Vi- Vitality. Vitality. Vitality, yeah. Vitality. Yep. There you, you just said it 10 different ways. Yeah. Vitality. 
um, was pressing neon, right? You always call him Vitality. <laughs> I thought it was Vitality. What's yeah. Vitality? Vitaly, Vitaly. Vitaly. Yeah. All right, so Vitaly pressed neon, wanting neon to sign, like, pictures or something, right? Yeah, yeah. And then neon... Well, he wanted Sam to sign the pictures. What were the pictures? Pictures of Sam that she sold on her OnlyFans. <gasps> I didn't know that. Oh, that's yeah. kind of... Well, there wasn't that... B- uh, it's... Oh, you saw the pictures? Well, yeah, I was standing there. Mm. And I was like, oh, this was, but it's not that bad. It wasn't, it's not like crazy, but it was, it's some that like you probably wouldn't want, you know. Out. Yeah. Well, I mean, you want it out. You're you want it out because you still. sold it, but like yeah. maybe you don't want it all over the internet, which I find interesting because I was, I was thinking about it. I was like, he pressed charges on her. Wait, we have to tell the story. Okay, tell the story. You tell it because I wasn't like, I okay. was there, but I wasn't there. So I just have a question after the story. Tell the story. Okay. Start. Okay. So I was there. It, they're they're all streaming, right? Who so is? You gotta neon streaming. Think of the clips, okay? That's yeah, how you yeah. should set these up. I got you. So neon streaming, Vitaly streaming. You could tell Vitaly knew. Obviously, everyone knew what was going to happen that day. People are going to be here streaming, making content. He showed up. He came prepared with some pictures, right? And you know, obviously, Sam doesn't want certain things, and you know, Sam's probably tired of hearing the same. But it's like it is part of her past. But at the same time, like. Why why go to that degree? But then I then again I can't be like oh why not? Because this is a whole conversation piece for a lot of people to talk about anyways. So Vitaly shows up with basically pictures from her OnlyFans that she sold, and it wasn't anything crazy. I think it was like a picture of like her, and then a picture of like her and Jack Doherty, and then it was like her um, on a bed. And I don't even want to describe. What was it. This she doing on the bed? Nothing. She was just. It was. Okay, I just said. I feel weird saying it. It's just why? so because it's like not. I don't know. She's there on all fours, and the picture's taken from an angle that's like, why would you? It's like so, like, ch- ch- you know. I'm not gonna describe it entirely. Anyways, it was, <laughs> you just said. But no, I didn't. But oh. but it wasn't anything like it wasn't. Can't say it's not sexual because obviously it's sexual. You didn't see nudity, but you saw like an angle that was like whoa, and that's when she got mad and spit on him. Okay, so she spits on him, and I didn't know that in California, if you spit on someone, and I don't know, maybe this is everywhere, it's considered assault. I didn't know that either. Right? And so I was thinking, I was like, wait, so if it's assault, <laughs> we were talking in the car, I was like, wait, if it's assault, because assault is, if someone hits you, you could fight them back. Like, if someone swings on you, you could swing on and be like, yo, I was defending myself. Yeah. So I was thinking, like, wait, if someone spits on you and it's assault, can, can you just swing on them? I said, if someone spits on you... And you swing on them, it's your fault. But if someone spits on you, you can spit on them back. That's what you think. I That's don't know. What I think. I don't so know. we need cops. Someone in the someone in the comments, comment below. If someone spits on me and in that's considered assault in California, does that mean I could swing on them back or I could only spit on them back? Anyways, anyways, he 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 call he must call the police because she spits on him. Which this is the part that I find funny, is like Vitaly Forever was the guy who did the craziest pranks, in- and he's coming back obviously to make content, but it's like. The chick spits on him, and then he, the cops, like we're leaving because we're we're gonna go continue streaming. The cops follow us. They pull us over. He pulls up. He's got his camera, and he's like, "I want this to say sorry, basically, for that." And she said sorry. And she said sorry. Apparently, I didn't see it. I was over, kind of talking to all the. I other saw people the clip. She goes, "I'm sorry, King Vital." He said, "I wanted her to say that." King Vital. King Vitaly. King Vitaly. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> it's name. funny. It's funny. And then, uh, <laughs> and then. I guess that was it. And then he goes back to uh, back to the police station and presses charges still. Yeah, that's crazy. That's what I found funny. I was like, wait, so like you got the clip, you got the sorry, and then you still wanted to press charges. That's what I don't understand. Because in my head, I'm like, wait, but you were the guy who did all this reckless with people for so long. And then now we're just like, we're pressing charges for spit. Like, Maybe it was like chat running his life and he like caved, you know? That's what I think too. Yeah. But but even still, I'm just like, bro, just spit on her back. But that's what right? I'm saying is, if if the re- if she apologized and the relationship was mended, because I've had this issue with people in the past, like you apologize. You spit on someone? No, but you apologize and you think the relationship is mended, right? You got it. And then they go and do some other snake. Yeah, that's this view view culture view community clip community whatever it is. Yeah, maybe this- it's just like in the the streamers. Who knows, man? It's just a conti- it, it's just a big like new age. We talked about this before, reality yeah. circle of clips and views, and I get it. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. It was, and I didn't 
like she was really actually mad for sure actually mad because i was standing there and i was like oh she's mad she was mad when she spit 100 of course yeah. of course and he like wiped it and ate it up he did he, she spit on him and he wiped it and <laughs> licked his fingers clean he's crazy he's <laughs> crazy <laughs> but he's this crazy. is what i was gonna ask you yeah yeah was okay say like a girl was pressing a guy or a girl whatever was pressing me right so bad mm-hmm um, okay. And then, like, would you, like, fend my honor like Sam did with Neon? I know, like, we're just friends, but I'm saying... But she like, was defending her own honor. That was her honor. Okay, fine. Say the guy brought... Pig- the guy pressing me brought naked pictures of you. Would you spit on him? Wait. If the guy pressing you brought pictures of me naked? Yeah. There'd be no naked pictures of me. That wouldn't well, happen. Okay, I'm just saying. And so, wait, I'm f- I can't follow this. So, uh, would I... No, a girl came up to me. Okay. And she brought like pictures of you, mm-hmm. unsolicited pictures of you. Mm-hmm. And then me and her like screaming at each other, like, would you come and spit on her? I don't think I would spit on a random chick. Mm-hmm. No, you, it's a girl. You'd have to deal with it. Girls got to deal with girls. Well, that's where, I, okay. I just hope you know that if a girl and you were beefing, okay. You'd spit on her? No, <laughs> I'd knock her out for you. <laughs> Because you you probably shouldn't punch her. Well, yeah, no, I would never hit her on camera. It'd be crazy. Exactly, but there would be cameras. So yeah. what I'm saying is, I would handle it for you. Wow, I'd handle the smoke. You, <laughs> I would handle it. You know what also made me think? Technically, the pictures were on her OnlyFans, and I was curious: can you bring those photos and show people? Because isn't wouldn't that be considered like? You know how like DMCA claims of like, yo, that's my content and OnlyFans behind the paywall. Yeah. It's like you can't just bring that out and show people. Isn't mm-hmm. that also somewhat of a crime? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Look like, at couldn't you detect? I mean, look, dude, I've been doing it for Martin. a long time, but I'm thinking like, isn't that also? Couldn't she also press charges for like yeah. s- for like bringing these photos and just showing people? Because yeah. isn't that like you if you paid for them, fine, right? They're yours, but you going showing, soliciting them to everyone on the internet. Isn't that it also has a to crime? go against some kind of copyright? Right. Or so if I would have, I feel like I would have been in a conversation with those cops. Would have been like, wait a sec, what about this? She should have. And Sam's smart. I feel like she knows that. Emotions. Yeah. Emotions get you wild. Yeah. But also the whole thing is weird. It's just like. Well, anyways, did it's you? It's a circus. What? The whole thing's a circus. Yeah, it is. That's what all of this is. The whole. The whole the whole zoo opening was crazy. People yeah. were boxing each other. Did you see me fight? I fought like six girls. I was drunk. Dude, I was You're always drunk. You're so No, annoying. I'm not always drunk, but anytime I go to those events, I just like to loosen up. And I was drunk. I'm not gonna you lie. You were I was, too loose. I was loose, dude. I know. Yeah, it was that was crazy. Did you see me fight? Yeah. You fought you fought Chris, this new streamer kid, and then you you fought Neon. And then I fought like four girls. I well, I didn't see the girls. Oh. No. No, I you didn't, didn't see the girls. I didn't see the girls. What I fought girls four were, girls. What girls? Randoms. They wanted the smoke. Really? Yep. Wrestling. Wrestling. One girl probably weighed 210, 220. Did she have the dark rock yeah. shirt on? Yep. You wrestled her? Yep. Oh, sh- where is mm-hmm. that? That's got to be on I the think I, I have it on my phone. Oh, I got to see that. Yeah. I got to see that. I did good. I threw them all down. I made two of the girls Are you tap. leg sweeping everyone? Yep. <laughs> leg sweeping. And then I'd get on the ground. You Did you see me fight? I'd get on the ground and choke them out and make them tap. Did I you told, really? I swear to God, right? I was oh, drunk, yeah, dude. he was there. I was drunk, dude. Yeah, he got all of the fighting. Oh, I wasn't there. Wait, didn't I do good, Sylvie? I wasn't there. I was drunk. I choked him out. I choked some of the girls out. Oh, Summer. Yeah. Oh, Summer fought someone? Yeah. Who'd Summer fight? Summer fought this random girl that was friends with Snacksy. And this girl, I asked the girl, I said, have you ever boxed or fought? Like, do you do fighting? Because it wouldn't be fair if she goes, because she looked like a big girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes, no, I haven't. And then she goes and fights Summer. She knew exactly what she was doing. She's like, yeah, I do wrestling. <laughs> and Summer's, Summer's like, she's petite. You know, like yeah, she's yeah. muscular, but she's like. Yeah, she's tiny. She's tiny. She's tiny. Yeah. So she got smacked? She got smoked or what? She got Damn. dropped. And it was my, I was like, yeah, have summer fight. And then Summer's were, good, though. Dude, people were boxing in the middle of the gym. Some dude got knocked out. Yeah, Straight I up saw that. knocked out. He was wearing a Rocky shirt, too. Like, yeah. Straight up slept. Yeah. We were like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, it's f***ed up in those situations because there was so many people. It was like a circle. Mm-hmm. There were so many people. And it's like, it's not just sparring. Like, these kids were trying to kill each other low-key. Mm-hmm. But they all knew it, too, by the way. Everyone signed a waiver. Yeah, everyone signed a waiver. We were also like, yo, you, like... You know that this is going to happen, right? And, you, and they're like, yeah, I'm 
ready. But I'm just, it was so cool to see how many people were like, fuck it, I don't give a But it's, again, it's the emotions and the adrenaline. Yeah, they were hyped, dude. That one guy even told me, because I saw him after the fact. We went to, uh, this. he was actually over there where like Vitaly and this whole thing was happening with the cops because we were leaving. And he was like, he's like, yeah, I already had the gloves on. Because I told him, I was like, bro, this kid's like a fighter for real. Like, do you sure you want to do this? He's like, yeah, fuck it. And he told me after the fact, the one who got knocked out, mm. he was like, I already had the gloves on. I couldn't say no. Uh, he's just like me for real. He's just like, fuck it. Yeah. But like, that was fun though. No, it I think was everyone a dope had opening. A, a lot of fun. Dude, I'm my body is still sore from wrestling. Wrestling's a different type of oh, exercise. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god, my back is so sore. I like need weird massage. spots, just weird right? spots. Yeah. Like inside of my like like crotch area or like hip area, okay. sore. Inside your crotch area? Like how'd that right get here. sore? I think it's from trying to like leg lock like oh, I see. when I was like locked. Would you ever get into more like fighting yes. stuff? <sighs> now I want to. But what if you, but I feel like you have that problem. Like if you get smoked, you're like, everyone turn the cameras off to delete that. Well, yeah, of course. No cameras on while I'm But playing. like, if you're really going to do it, I, we got to get more girls. Like we got to get more girls in the, in the influencer fighting thing. Yeah, we do. You got to do it for real. And I think Snaxy would, she would go crazy. Yeah. Like an do MMA it. fight. She'd do good. You should. Dude. I could fight Snaxy. I don't know. I don't know. think that'll end well for you. <laughs> Why? Because like if I lose, <laughs> you and I will have issues, and if she loses, you and her will have issues. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. So uh, like it all comes down to you having to pick, and we all know at the end of the day you're picking me. You're so. so stupid. You're stupid. It's crazy. I just think I just think I think we got to get more girls fighting. Dude. I think I think so too. I think me. This is what we're gonna do. Me snacksy summer. Okay, we're going to go three on three. We'll find three other girls, us three against them, tag team. We're so done funny. giving out free clout, okay? I know, I just want to revive some careers. No, I don't want to revive any careers. They're done. They're done for a reason. I want to get them some more free money so they can act like I didn't do anything for them. <laughs> Anyways. Sorry. Sorry, okay. We'll continue, we'll continue. Okay. Okay, let's get it. Let's read some comments. Because they like that. You know, I know you were hating on that, but they were like, yo, bro, Brad's on to some. Let me read them this time. Then. Okay, I'm going right. to read them. You all put right. your phone down. I can access the comments. Okay. You sure you can access the comments? Yes, put your phone down. Yo, guys, we're at 56K subs. Let's go. Are we right now? Yeah, 56. Oh, everyone subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Do it. Don't just be a loser who just watched clips on TikTok all day. Please subscribe. Show love. Show support. Okay. Sarah's going to read some comments because last time I read the comments and maybe I was a little bit one-sided or whatever, or, you know. Oh, first comment is Sarah. Jeff Wittick is also planning to do a dating show in 2024. We already read those comments. It would be awesome if you both did a collab. No, this is from the new pod. That was also the top comment again was with Jeff Wittick. Oh, yeah. We got to get Jeff. I followed him on Instagram <clears throat> and he followed me back. You think I'm in yeah. there? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Well, I FaceTimed him and I was like. He didn't like, pick up. He didn't pick up what? Our what? FaceTime call. He called me later that day. And did you tell him that? Yeah. Like, Sarah... I said, we got to have you on the pod. And what did he say? He said, Sarah's not really my type, but maybe I'll pull up. He did not say that. I'm f***ing oh, with you. I was like, that's crazy. I'm f***ing with you. No, I, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He said, yeah, I'm down. Let's see if he'll answer this time. <laughs> Jeff Wittick, busy man. Why does he not like us? No, he does. He, he doesn't. Does He's probably just being a handsome dude somewhere. <laughs> Jeff, you I should text people prior so I can let them know that I'm going to call them. No. Real oh. ones pick up. Damn. Jeff Wittick. That's crazy. Okay. Read more wow. comments. Okay. Well, F you, Jeff Wittick. No, who cares? It's funny. You don't care. Okay. This pot is gold. Brad is a true entertainer, and he really knows how to get Sarah to open up. What are you saying? <sighs> Go ahead. Don't skip all the good ones. I actually do get Sarah's point. Her being kind of cold, bossy to men, strong boundaries, somewhat masculine is necessary based on the life she is choosing to live. That's true. Oh, he's calling back. Yo, make sure you read their names so they okay. read their names too. <clears throat> okay, Jeff. Yo, Jeff's on his pod too. Dude. See, that's why you didn't Jeff. answer. Jeff. Jeff, this is Sarah. Jeff, you have been the top comment on two of my podcasts. Yeah, our yeah. Podcasts. yeah, it's fine, yeah. Yeah, he said that you don't want to be on our podcast because I'm not your type. <laughs> That's ridiculous. He never said, he never asked you that. And <laughs> you probably, no offense, but you probably are too young for me, but, you know, I'm trying to get into that right now. <laughs> I never said I would never do the podcast, Brad, because you put words in my mouth. 
I know, dude. Brad tends Sorry. to do that. Yo, we gotta have Monty. He's funny. Hey. Yeah, we gotta. You'd have let him, him be. A- <laughs> oh my god, Yo, bro! We'll do it on the pod, dude. No, no street. Bradley, Bradley, like gets full like anger mode, and he takes it out. On no, people. I would never do that to Jeff. No, Jeff's crazy. Both of them gone. Jeff, I want both of them gone. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, Jeff's a savage, bro. No, I wasn't. Wait, he saw me fighting someone? Yeah. No, dude, we, we I, look, I have friends and they're like, yo, we have gloves. Anyone want to fight? And then everyone's like, yeah. And so everyone just starts fighting. And then we built the new. Bro, you should have came. You, you probably would. Someone would have got you fighting, though. I'm telling you. Cause some kids were getting like, there was a kid who got straight up knocked out, bro. Like it was crazy. You should. I know. How old is Jeff? We, I always, how old is Jeff? I think he's like my age. Jeff, how old are you? I just turned thirty-four. Yeah, he's my age. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, isn't it crazy how much steroids change the look of thirty-four? Whoa! What the. <laughs> This is Yeah, look at that jaw. You could I thought Jeff was like 26. No, Jeff looks old as No, he doesn't. Yeah, you're I'm trying I try to be a hater. Sorry. Jeff does look young. You look young, bro. You got a great hairline, everything. Man. A great hairline. Thanks, bro. I I don't even know what your hairline looks like. No one's seen the hairline. I'd love to someday see that hairline, give you a haircut. We can wrestle. Yes, I was. That would go crazy. Real lifting weights is pointless. You never have to lift a car off like a fucking baby or something, you know. Dude, you never know when you have to. You never know, man. I'm not gonna lie. I was supposed to come do his. I was supposed to come do his barbershop show, and I didn't because of the hair. Just go do it. Put a wig on and have him cut the wig. (laughs) That's gonna get you so much love and support from. You know how many people suffer from male pattern baldness? I know. And I know secrets and tricks. I'm actually like. A chemist when it comes to this stuff. I can get you if you're like a little like oh, I don't like my hairline right now. I'll get that shit perfect. You talking about like Trust Beijing me. and shit or what? I'm not talking about Beijing. I'm not talking about going to Turkey. None of that stuff. Like natural ways of making you feel better about yourself. Oh, but we don't have to talk about this on air. You know, we can talk about this in private. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Like a doctor's visit. Yeah, yeah, like Jeff doctors. Jeff, Jeff doctor. Jeff also scope his yeah. balls while you're at it. Scope they haven't balls. dropped. What? <laughs> what? You gotta, <laughs> gotta put a finger Everybody in my. And you're gonna like it. Shut the fuck up. F- I don't know if I want this. You do. No, I don't want this. I don't want. But we'll do it. We'll we'll sort some stuff out I'll, privately. We won't talk about it on air. Look at Tally's calling me. <laughs> Agents. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll talk to you soon, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's funny. Who's nice? Vitaly called. Are you going to call him back? Yeah, he called. Yo, what's up? We're on a podcast. Vitaly, what up? Oh, uh, sorry. You on the podcast still? Yeah, uh, we're I'm good. Gonna I'm going to pull up to the gym. I'm going to work out. I'm going to wait for you, okay? All right. All right. Yo, yo, we talked about, we because we talked about you and the split, the spitting thing on the pod for a second. Um, did you really press charges against Sam? Who is that? Who's what? Who, who are you? Who's the guest? Oh, it's no, not it's, a guest. It's, it's me and Sarah. It's me and Sarah. It's on our other my other podcast. Oh, you are. Oh my God, Sarah, the love of my life. Um, listen. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. The 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 pod, Yeah, the charges. Yeah, I pressed. I pressed. But we, we're gonna talk about it. That's an in-person conversation, bro. Okay. Okay. Wait, we got, wait, a, lot. I have we got a, a lot to talk about. Okay. We got so a lot to talk about Bradley. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Sarah has one more question. Yeah, Sarah. Hi. This is Sarah Safari. Hi. Yes, Miss Sarah Safari. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. How can I pronounce your name? My name is Vitali. Italy with the Vita Oh, Vitali. Yes. Yes. Vitali. Yes. Vitali. Yes, yes, stupid. Okay, got it. Thank you. Ask the question. Thank you, Vitali. That's the question. Oh, that was the... Let me guess. You were calling me by... Sarah, you come to the gym too. Please. We got to talk to you. We have to talk about what? Uh, nothing bad. You're good. 
not, not seriously. No trolling. He wants to really spit scared. on you. Are you going to spit on me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> wow, man. Bradley, I swear to God, bro. I'm waiting for you at the gym. Dude, man. you know I'm a troll. You know I'm a troll. No. Um, he'll... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to see how you're going to answer my questions. I'm prepared. I'm very well prepared for today. So. Oh, my God. Here we go. Okay. He goes, oh, my God. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm, I'm down for whatever. All right. You're down for whatever. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Have fun. See yeah, you soon. Bye. Bye. Yo, what the f*** is he going to ask me? I'm not going. You're not going? No. She's like, I'm avoiding this. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Dude. Streamers scare me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna start doing it for real. Okay, you don't scare me because like you, you're the one person that I think respects me. The one person. I think. I, I think, think a lot of people respect. I think you. a lot of people respect me, but I'm saying connections that I've made. I think you respect me. Yeah, I just think people don't. I think people just the line. They like they don't know all the lines. Yeah. That's all. I just known you longer. Yeah, you have. So I think it's just the lines people don't know. But you'll be good. But keep reading the comments. This is good. Read okay. their names. Read their names because it's cooler. Oh, did I just say what? trade like zach said yeah go um i actually i actually do get sarah's points her being kind of cold bossy to men strong boundaries somewhat masculine is necessary based on the life she is choosing to live if she is going to be in la around gym bros and clout goblins as a young woman without any male family members to protect her it's going to be rough well she got her brother but that is true yeah that is it's accurate assessment i think that's kind of somewhat my masculine energy is like because I want to protect myself, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Sarah always give Brad signs that she likes, loves him, and he always brushes it off. I know he hears her. What? I do, I do like and love you as a friend. Yeah. Yeah, I don't brush that off. You do brush it off. How do I brush it off? Bradley, I tell you I love you and you say thank you. You do <laughs> brush it off. That's a literal fact that you brush it off. You brush off everything. I try to give you a hug and you're like, yo, no hugging, no hugging. Get away from me. You're the king of brushing off like love. Dude, it's funny. Oh, yeah, okay. I know. It's that's funny. Good. That's good. It's funny. To some. It's funny to you. It's not really funny to me. <clears throat> Go, keep going. She is definitely a natural beauty, way better without <clears throat> makeup. Well, I told you that. Yeah. I feel like Sarah is losing her spark and needs to find it again. I look back at her old videos and she seemed to have so happy and bubbly. <laughs> I know life gets hard, but that's everyone and some have it worse. Set 2024 goals, Sarah. You have the money to do something with it. Travel, make different content. Who's that? You got to travel. You got to travel more. <sighs> The comment reading part is fun. Definitely make it a regular thing. See? Yeah, hell yeah. I feel like Brad gave Sarah good advice about speaking with a therapist. There's nothing wrong about going that route, especially when she is feeling down in several of the pods. Were you really feeling down or were you just sick? Last week I was just sick. Yeah. I was so sick. <clears throat> My voice is still a little raspy. Ooh. Brad is superficial, but he doesn't realize Sarah is the girl for him. How am I superficial? What the I don't know how those two even made sense together. <laughs> I'm not superficial at all. <clears throat> the Stephen Hawking stuff was hilarious. Bro, that shit was funny. I don't care what anyone's. We were going to cut that out, and I was like, no, dude. Okay. Yeah. We Well, this is another thing. We, we do keep reading the comments, but <clears throat> I think we need to be way less cutting things out. We just got to just go hard. I know. I... I really want to say and i trust the audience of mommy and daddy i love them i trust them but i think that it's the clips that i'm scared will just yeah. end up like like imagine the one clip of you going who am i yeah <laughs> ends up on tiktok <laughs> just that one clip it's like wow this is a fucked up person like making a joke of epstein island and stephen hawking it's like okay yeah 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 but like that means you know fuck it mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of fuck it. Kind, kind of fuck it. Kind of fuck and we've gotten better sometimes. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of we could say. There's just that. a lot of stuff we could say. A lot of names we could <clears throat> drop. And I don't think the people deserve. Nah, we can't drop the names, man. We people can't do don't it. deserve the names. The truth. The truth is. The truth always, you know, finds its way. It does. Keep going. These are good. Um, Brad keeps saying he's going to train at the old gym. Then the old gym randomly starts to get busy again. <laughs> That's normal. 
I absolutely love to see Sarah cry. It's so cute. What? Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's one of the guys who's like, yeah, I'm almost there. Keep going. You know when you're streaming and they're like, yo, I'm, I'm almost done. Like I'm edging? Yeah. Like, wow. You know, you don't. <laughs> you're sick. Oh, okay. Are people into people crying? I don't know. I don't. That That's probably a weird sexual thing. And what are some of yours? Weird. Things that I'm into that are weird? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I kind of like feet. You like feet? Yeah, but I don't, I wouldn't like, <clears throat> I wouldn't like, like, like I always talk about uh, um, Trevor Wallace's uh, co-host. He like f feet. I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that? No, that's kind of weird. But like you'd suck? Yeah, I'd suck some toes. <clears throat> Would you like someone to suck your toes? Mm, no. Massage them though. Okay. Yeah, massage them for sure. Okay. Love this duo. And Brad towards the end is awesome. Couldn't stop laughing. Love you, Brad. Fire. It's probably 20 of those. Skip the next 20 because they're probably all saying the same thing. You can tell these two really love each other. They're either dating behind the scenes or they're holding back from expressing their feelings to each other. Whatever they decide, I'm rooting <laughs> for them. Bradley and Sarah are really good people and they deserve the best. And we do. And we do love each other, but in a totally non-platonic way. Yeah, we're not dating Wait, behind platonic the scenes. Wait, platonic way or non-platonic? Platonic. In a platonic <clears throat> way. Yeah, platonic is like family. Friendship. Yeah, yeah. family. Yeah. I do consider you like family. Like, I, I wish you the best and I want you to be happy. And you deserve someone that makes you happy. Likewise. That's why I know that I'm too good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, I'd make you too happy. <laughs> You're too good. I'm too good. <clears throat> Six Sarah is hilarious. Hope you remain like this every podcast. Yeah, because well, you got the like the low the, the glasses, the low vibes when you're like, yeah. Am I better low? Nah, it's a good mix. You need a mix. I love Sarah's cat shirt. That was my shirt, by the way. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. I have the cat shirt. Wow, <clears throat> someone asked for guy. Steiny back. Really? Probably Steiny on a burner account. Facts. Yeah. He called me the other day. I didn't. Let me call him. <clears throat> a little guest. It's also fun on the podcast calling people. Oh, someone said Brad looks so cute with a beanie. Uh, I don't think he looks that cute with a beanie. Nice. I like him with a hat better than a beanie. The sign he'll pick up. He's probably just jerking it in Miami somewhere. This is fun, though. Calling people and reading comments is actually really fun. This is fun. He's probably putting his make makeup on. Yeah, it's fun. I love these love these hats too guys so guys these hats are dropping soon they're on the 23rd <clears throat> on the 23rd <laughs> yeah wow. they're gonna they're gonna sell out fast i'm gonna read some comments i'm a professional comment reader that's all i do i sit <laughs> i sit in my bed at night and i just read comments and i'm like why do they hate me <laughs> why do they love me why do they hate me it's a love hate game baby girl bring natural back Fuck yeah that's something i want to talk what? about too women need to stop injecting themselves with random to look different. What about filler? Do you think? Filler, like, like is that lip filler? Lip filler. No, stop it. Let it go. There's been, bro, so many Please. people. I really want to name drop. <clears throat> I'm just not trying to start. But before and after pictures of all of these people that you guys are idolizing on social media. Bro, and they're like, the worst are though, like, lip filler is one thing. Fake boobs, those are great, but we're not talking about that. And then the other thing that I can't stand is girls who get fake butts and they're like, buy my fitness program. Like, oh, yeah. Bro, that's, that's been going on for like Six I just years. I just don't like it in the aspect that a lot of these women have like younger girls following them, like fourteen year old, fifteen year old girls. So like it skews their perspective of. Yeah, well that's the thing. It's like the Kardashians ran it up, and now they're like running it back down. So like they're taking out, and girls are just following. Like well, it was already cool. What? Yeah. I don't know, man. <clears throat> okay. He must have saw, dude. Everyone likes the big that Big Bang joke about your grandpa. Sorry, I won't bring that up again. I'm just saying because he was okay. Anyways, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Yo, Silby, give me a bite of that sandwich. Have you not ate any of it? Look at that guy, dude. Professional. Was it too loud? That guy's professional. No. Come on. Give me a bite of that sandwich. Oh. I'm gonna take a bite of the sandwich. What are you laughing at? Sarah. Sarah is looking like Letty from Fast and the Furious today. Mm. <laughs> I got that a lot. It's a tomboy vibes. <clears throat> Holy 
This comment's insane. I have to. I feel like what I have it? to read it because it? it's so long. I don't know what the comment's gonna say, but it started off with Randy Pena. Thank you. He said, uh, "Real talk, though, Brad. It is awesome that you read over the comments, bro, and give your input. You should have went down the line. You almost got to mines. Y'all are the best for real. I do love watching the pod. I like raw talk better, though. Sorry, I just I didn't know he was gonna say that." Sarah does get annoying because uh, maybe I should stop reading this because of how uncomfortable she gets when 90% of certain subjects get brought up by the comments that she can hardly relate to or not able to relate to or she won't even open up to talk through her past trauma exclamation point <clears throat> like grow up you know you know how you know you're how old I didn't know this was going to turn into this by the way I had no idea because it was very long stop I just clicked, reading this should I stop reading comment. Yeah, we've all been that. through it yeah sorry <laughs> No one gets you're getting blocked. You can Yo, watch the so, next podcast. You're mean, dude. I feel bad. But he, he is like I'm I'm gonna read it. I'm reading it. That's for real you from your bot account. Yeah, it's me straight up. The only way you're going to grow is to move past trauma. I was like, work through it, sir. Maybe you need a psychologist. It's not a bad thing. Look, Albert Einstein. Up. He wrote a lot. <clears throat> I have no problem sharing my trauma, but I'm sorry I don't want to share it with the whole internet huh no i get it what about that suck he a said, dick he said look i love how defensive you are i love this what's this, his name no at the end he was like look how look how much brad has grown over the years props bro like i said in the last commentary keep kicking ass and taking names he still loves you yeah brad's been doing this for 25 years it's year two for me i know i'm very oh, some slack you very much a veteran face. sorry not you this what's his name albert albert's getting hit with the block damn he's the guy though that was cool some people say we need to get guests. We'll start getting some guests. Who do you guys want? Well, Jeff's going to be one of them. Maybe Vitaly will be one of them. Vitaly oh, my right God. We should have had him on today. I know. Well, we're going to, I mean, I'm going to go to the gym and see what the f he's talking about. This one's kind of mean. Read it. Sarah, you carry, this is capital. You carry the podcast because Bradley doesn't need this podcast. He's being nice, letting you use his likeness for a podcast to blow your, blow your profile. He don't need to carry this too when he birthed your career. The fact that he that she's steady asking for more and more from this dude is insane. That was kind of mean. That was kind of mean. And to say she doesn't ask for more and more from me. And also, I do really like this podcast format. And I, I was actually telling you when we were driving over to the photo shoot today that it, it works because you're actually, you know, intuitive and and more than just a random ass chick that I can put on a podcast. So thank you. Yeah, I could defend you a little bit on that one. Yeah, what the f Why are you coming at me all crooked? I don't ask for more and more. No, you don't. You should make another channel called Daddy Talk and upload every episode with Sarah muffled. It would be fire. <laughs> was yeah. Sarah muted? Dude, they're kind of f up. Are these all just flaming me? I missed all I of mean, these. I mean, is this the right podcast? Shut up, Sarah. Brad's right. We want to see you guys reading comments. <laughs> Yo, sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's funny. Sarah genuinely bringing the quality of this podcast down. These are back to back. No, they're not. I swear to God. You want to read them? There's no way people are this rude. They're mean. They're mean. It's like, but only to me. Yeah. I mean, look. Are I'm, you skipping over your mean ones? Look, 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 look. You should call this. Shut up, Sarah. Genuinely bring. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. They could read the. Damn, that's crazy. No, but people. Joe I, Rogan said to never read comments, so I never read comments. Joe Rogan's a goat. There, the intro with no names is so much better. Brad, you need more. You need a more mature co-host. I think Sarah sounds starts needs to do vlogs. You read my comment about the nicotine. Brad read my comment wrong. She said wasn't egotistical. I wasn't trying to be rude. Well, read them. Don't muffle them. Okay. Liked when Sarah put the beanie on. Ooh. Brad's ego makes the show unbearable. There's a, there's a you know. And finally. Yeah. So so no one caught the theater thug joke from Drake and Josh. <laughs> She's on her time of the month today for sure. Means you weren't, were you? I was. Oh, you were? I was sick. Damn, and he called that. You were sick and on. Damn. Well, we gotta we gotta we gotta forgive her for that. Sylvie, could you get me a water? She's naturally beautiful and that's rare. Thank you. Sarah, we love your shirt. He he probably saw the big bang. Sarah with that. What's a snowflake mean? A snowflake? Sarah with that. Oh, cocaine? Oh, maybe? Coke. Coke. Okay. Dude, am I that old? You are. Sorry, guys. 
You know what I was going to do? Next podcast, I'm going to bring some of my hometown friends and do give, do it and see what they have to say about me. But they better tell the truth. They watch gas all you of up. this podcast. They better not gas you up. Look, let me see. They better not gas you up just because they're here. No. They got to tell the truth. My phone, I don't even know where my phone is. I don't need it. Good. You don't need it. Yeah, I don't need it. Um, this <clears throat> one guy, he watches every, his name's Gabe. He watches every single one of our podcasts. He's your friend? Yeah. Nice. Let's see what he has to say. Yo, we got to set up a way. We, we, oh, I already have the way. Oh, the I got camera up so they can see the people? No, but, oh. no, we can do that. That We can edit that. And you have to screen record the stuff. We have to screen record the stuff. We, we, we flopped that. We got to make sure we do that right next time. Okay. But I have a way where we can get voice audio from all of them, and then we can respond to their, like, voice audio oh. on the thing. Because I was going to do a pod where I just hear voice audio and then answer a question. Yeah. Hear voice audio, then, like, get questions and answer them. But we could do it here. We can get their input. That'd we'll be do good. A, we'll do a segment like that. I have it set up. We'll sort that out. Sylvie will be able to do that. Okay, perfect. Super simple. Where's your phone? I don't know. No. Really? Am I that fat? I just like audio. Oh my god, it's on a fucking. <laughs> it's on the what? No. My phone? You have my phone? No, I don't. <laughs> Yo, you have my phone. Brad, I don't have your phone. No. Dude, no. You have my phone. Sylvie. Don't tell them where it is. Bro, where's my phone? Sylvie. Oh, it's fine. You don't need your phone. No, read Time it. to grow up. I can't fuck you without my phone. I need a phone. <laughs> no, where's my phone? I don't have it. I swear to God, I don't have it. Act your own age. Just get off your phone. Bro, I'm not camping right now. Give me my phone. This is like, you know, have you seen that? The I'm losing it. I need my phone. It's like when you. I'm not camping. Huh? I'm not camping. I know you're not camping. Just shh. Where is my phone? Quiet, I need to look what do you at need? it. Right, need my close phone. your eyes and I'll give you your phone. Dude, no way. Where is on the floor? Oh my fucking god, dude. How did I god. dude? I'm getting old, dude. Please leave that part of him freaking out about his phone in. <laughs> me dropping me off. Where's that at? I found the zoo page and I choked him out and he was like, I'm gonna kill you, you crazy bitch he said that to you he was like i'm not gonna stop i'm gonna kill you <laughs> like what he said he's gonna kill you and then he, yeah and then when he was tapping out he tapped <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on dude what do you want to see yeah hoopa oh i see it no but let me show you this angle Well, you had to tap. You choked him out for real. I know, but he could have tapped the ground. Why did he go? To he could have tapped your shoulder. He could have tapped your shoulder. <laughs> His hand was up here. His hand was up here, right by your shoulder, and he went just smacked you on the butt. <laughs> Neil's funny, man. He could have tapped anywhere. Ugh. Dude. Oh my god. Bradley. Yes. Um, I just really quickly. This isn't. It doesn't matter if this goes in or not. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully it makes it in, though. I just wanted to... Oh, Gabe's calling me back. Gabe? Yeah, the one I said that watches all of our podcasts. Oh, I just okay. Gabe Ponce. Gabe. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Gabe, I was telling Brad that you watch all of our podcasts, Thank right? you, Gabe. Appreciate it. Gabe, Brad says thank you. Um, you, my boy. You're going to come on next week so you can give your honest opinion about me on here, okay? Yeah. Of her? <laughs> yeah. Who, can, care, who carries the podcast? Who's going to carry? Who carries it? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. <laughs> because I asked you to carry last week because okay. I was tired. Okay, fair. Okay, fair. so Gabe, next week you're gonna come on, okay? Sounds good. All right. I'll he's, show you what carrying is like, dude. I got you. He can be a part of Chico's Toxicos. He's Mexican too. He good? I'm he's good. Mexican. He said I'm hella Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. Yo, what? You know, hold on. What makes someone hella Mexican? Uh, growing up where we grew up, I'm considered hella Mexican. <laughs> yeah. Cause out in like Oxnard, were you like picking strawberries? And I have picked lemons. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah! I made the cut, bro. I made the cut. Hell yeah! I love it. No, that area. <laughs> what makes someone hella Mexican? He said, "I yeah." 
<laughs> okay, see you soon. Well, he said he's hella Mexican. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> no, but that that is something interesting though. The Mexican uh culture is so up right now. It's be, I it's realize crazy. Though, it's so up. Latinos in general, I think I mean Diego and Felipe say they're toxic, sure, but I feel like a lot of guys are just toxic. Doesn't matter their ethnicity. But I love Mexicans. They're dope, in particular. Bro. They go hard. Like and I think it's also just like and I've seen this on social media for many years, like people of certain ethnicities like ride for their like people. any yeah for their people who are like making content um i saw this a lot with fusi tube way back in the day like the the middle eastern community yeah like really like supports him obviously yeah right because people support their own people but for some reason i don't know right now i don't know in the last like i think it's like i don't know if it's a bad bunny thing or a peso pluma thing or a jop <laughs> thing but like all these people are coming up and like blowing up in these different industries well those are all music but I'm starting to see way more in that community pop on social media. Yeah. Way more. Bro, I'm telling you right now, mark my words, in two years from now, I think... You're going to be Mexican in two years from now? I'm not going to... I can't (laughs) just be Mexican. Maybe I'll be with a Mexican. No. Felipe is going to take over. Yeah, yeah. He's funny. Felipe is going to go crazy. Dude, Felipe's loyal too, man. I love it. Funny guy. Felipe and Diego, the chicos toxicos. Very good. Very good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I love... Like, I, I I think like... I think like two, they're just so good at like taking jokes too. So good, they're good at taking it for taking real. it, giving jokes. What? What? Why you say it like that? I just mean taking jokes. I just mean giving jokes. It. Okay, maybe Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Diego and Felipe. Stop. This will prove if they watch it because if they come back at us, like what? They're gonna see the clips for sure. Mm. They're gonna get tagged in the clips, of course. But yeah, no, it's 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 beautiful to see. It's cool. It's really cool to see them take it. No, the. F- the Mexican come up. What you oh, mean? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I don't want to see Diego take it. I do. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Yeah, that's sick. Why would you say that? Why would I? Why would you, you say that? You said it too. We just cut the part. Yeah, where but you said, said you want to take it. You want to see him watch him take it. That's weird. Oh yeah, that's weird. That's kind of weird, yeah. no? Huh. Take that back. Come uh, on. I'm good. No, you're gonna you're riding with that. I'm- Okay. Just like he does. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, you're sick, dude. Get it together. We're fucking grown up. Okay. Come on, grow up. Yeah, what the Bradley. Yeah. Genuinely, like I texted you this after this um one year anniversary. Um, but having people come up to me and telling me that, you know, they love this podcast or they love seeing me with you. A lot of the compliments do arise from both of like my, you know, affiliation with you. So I just wanted to thank you for like of everything course. that you do. Yeah, that's good. But not only that, another thing that I realized from, like, all of the, from the guys, like, coming up to me um, was that the best compliment, I think, to ever get is that your personality is so good. About you. About me. Yeah. I think that's the nicest compliment ever. Well, yeah, because it's not, like, a, it's not a superficial one. Yeah. Yeah. But I wonder if they say that just because they're trying to, like, riz you up. Oh, like, maybe they don't mean it. But I feel like. On this podcast, at least you can see my personality more than you can. And I guess my own YouTube videos, but like on my Instagram, you don't see personality much. No, no. But that's why this this overall, I mean, if you have it, like a personality, that people will grow closer to you yeah. as like a creator. Yeah. No, I really like, I love podcasting with you. So thank you. Yeah, of course. Because like, I, this is something that like, it's cool to do and it's amazing to do with you. I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else, but I would have never, you know, set it up. Like you, you really, really did this. Oh, yeah. The man role and everything. We got to do it. We got to do it right. It. Well, we you didn't do it. build it. You hired people. But. No, I built this. Uh-huh. I did that. Yeah. I didn't put that sign on the wall. My buddy did. He's not a buddy if you pay him. Yeah, he's like my bud. He like does a lot of work. He's, mm-hmm. he's super, super good. Mm-hmm. But I did. I was like, yo, this would look cool. And then I was like, oh, here, help me screw this in. I was like sweating, screwing it in. Mm-hmm. Dude, I do, I've been doing a lot more That's man That's your downfall shit. is that you don't do man. No, I've been doing a lot more man if you did since the van, I, I learned everything. I swear, and my you buy brother taught me. Four hundred thousand dollar van, and you think that you know? I've done a bunch of to that van. I've drilled <laughs> it. I've put holes in. Shit. I've made it better. I swear, hundred percent. I've done. I've learned a lot more, man. I, I listen. I'm attesting to that. I think that's one quality I. Really I could build a house. Bradley, no, I you could build couldn't. a house. I could. That's something that I. Me and I my Mexican last, homies, we could build a house. You together. and your Mexican homies can build. They a was house. like, "Yo, put this here." I'd be like, "Got you." No. I could do it. No. 100% I could do it. You know, I don't think you and Mexicans would get along because you Dude, have no... Mexicans, we're like, I'm pretty much Mexican. What the... 
Oh, I guess you are surrounded. Like, yeah. your employees. All of them. Hispanic. The only one who's not is that motherfucker right there. He's Italian. The mini you. Yeah, exactly. He's literally the only person on my team. Well, and Jessa now. Jess is actually the only white person I have on my team. So is Sylvie. No, but he's a, it's a little different. Italian? Yeah, I mean, he's like, he basically speaks Spanish, you know? It's like Italian. Italian and, uh, dude, Italian and Spanish is like damn near the same language. Is it not? No. Ask any Mexican person or someone who speaks Spanish, can they understand some Italian? They'll be like, yeah, pretty much. Really? Swear to you. Those languages are very similar. Uh -huh. So it's like the same thing. They're both love languages? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, obviously it's not the same, but it's very similar. You're getting calls. I'm always getting calls, though. That's like my life. Oh, look who it is. What up, Steiny? What up, man? Oh, he's in a penthouse in Miami. What's what going you... on, man? I'm returning your call. I know. We're on a podcast. I called you because you called me, and I wanted to know oh, what no you... Way. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling you back. What are you guys talking about? Uh, we're talking about the Mexican... Uh, community and culture and how that's like completely on the up. I love that culture. It's my favorite, bro. But what's going on? What'd you need from me? Talk about on the pod or what? No, dude. I just, you know, you're, I, I gotta check in on my son, bro. You're my kid. I'm your kid? Yeah, bro. How'd you I birth like, me? I birthed you, dog. Whoa. I felt like I had to check in on you, man. That's crazy. Where's great. mommy? She's right here. Hi, son. You look kind of sexy. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, that's your go-to every time, dude. You're just like the you just like you just have to riz no matter what. Yo, I'm um I'm coming back to LA early February. I would love to come on again. All right, we'll have you on. Okay. We'll have you on. We'd love to have you All on. Right. Yeah, we'd love to have you All on. Right. Sorry, Sarah's right. No, we'd love dude, to have I, you on. I I honestly I miss you guys. I really do. I was thinking about it yesterday. Call me mommy again. Mommy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> one more I'm time. I'm surprised you didn't Seriously, say it. I've been I've been a bad boy. Bro. Oh my god, we're getting a phone. You. <laughs> oh my god, dude, he's funny. Ew, I've been a bad boy. Dude, he is. Damn, I kind of do miss Steiny a little bit. You know what? Short, short amounts of Steiny, amazing. Too much. Too much Steiny. Too much. Od. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I guess that's like that with a lot. I'm like that with a lot of people. Just people in general. Yeah. Huh. Are you like that with anyone else in your personal life? Like I can only take sh small amounts of you? Yeah. No, I feel like my time, my thing is that I do a lot of my work either in the morning when I first wake up or late at night. I have too much free time. I sit by my, I sit at home on my own way too much. What do you do? I try to spend time with my family, but I'm like But that's good though. It's good, but I like would like someone to spend a lot of time with too. Yeah, but... If you don't have that person, it's family is like definitely what you oh, should Oh, no, be I prefer family over that. But yeah. then, you know, it's get cold. It gets cold. I watched anime. Like for the first time? That's yeah. What it's like. I, I listen, I am a massive anime person. I watched person. six episodes of, of Demon what? Slayer. Did you like it? Yeah. Listen, Japanese culture and this anime, for some reason, they just they just write better stories. Yeah. Like, straight good. up. Like maybe if you don't like cartoon type stuff you're listening you don't watch anime but like for some reason the stories are just so much better yeah it was good i was kind of into it there's so many animes so many good animes i can put you on really so what's your many. favorite oh favorite favorite for me it's tough because it's like not tough but i'm saying dragon ball z just because i grew up watching, watching this stuff it's like asking like who's your favorite child like it's hard yeah. to pick one yeah there's but so who's many your, like for real who's your favorite roger athlete Mm, Roger athlete. Like I don't think the rest of them will take offense to it. Like just be honest, you know. Yeah. Alex Eubank, I think he's my favorite Roger athlete. He's not a Roger athlete. Yeah, but like in at in spirit, he is though. He's not though. But in spirit, he is not a current Roger athlete. No, not current, but like, it, is he ever not though? You know. Bradley, are you joking? No, in spirit. <clears throat> okay, who's your favorite female Roger athlete? Oh, we were I talking about that, earlier. You say her name. Summer. Has been crushing it. Hmm. I do love Summer though. She's really dope. She's been crushing. Yeah, I love her. She's she's dope. crushing. She is. And then I'd say probably like hmm. Kaylee's pretty dope. Snacksy. Um, and then we got like you know a few other. Hmm. 
Yeah, I've really been liking Gymshark recently. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know, I know. <clears throat> Not with you, you oh, loser. Great clothes, Lululemon. Uh, yeah. Love it. <laughs> mm, Nike, just Nike, do it. Just do it. <laughs> Yo, imagine if Nike did sponsorships. They definitely do they not. They do. No, nah, but they they don't do money sponsors. They don't give no money. Yeah, but if they what if they wanted if they wanted to have me as like a model? Yeah, but they got like Ugh. they have like they have like LeBron James, you know, like I'm on par with LeBron James. <laughs> oh my god, this is getting I crazy. This is getting crazy. No, okay, I'm not on par with LeBron James. No, LeBron like, James, dude. Come on. I know, but like They don't have they dude, imagine they got in the influencer game. They would it up. They would. I don't think they give a fuck. They already billion, 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 billion. Yeah, those Rack kids. Fuck out. Slaving away for real. <laughs> oh, is that fuck? That's fucking true though. That is true. Yeah. Damn. Anyways. That got dark. Yeah, that was. Okay. Is it though? Because like, yeah, we're not gonna get into that conversation. No, that's good. Yeah, it's like, um, let's switch it up. No, I think that's it for this podcast. You gotta go see Vitaly. Vital, yeah, no, I gotta, I gotta go train. To be honest, are you gonna train with him? Is he a trainer? <sighs> Is he a trainer? No, no, no. I mean, does he train? He, he definitely. I, I don't know if he still works out consistently. He did for some time. We'll see. I'm just gonna hit shoulders. Is he like an OG? Yeah, in on the internet, in the internet space, yeah. Like you, even before me. No way. Yeah, just before me. Him and Yousef were like some of the first to really, really? like blow up. Yeah. <clears throat> does he live in LA? He lives in <clears throat> Miami now, I think. Um, Why was the first time me ever hearing of him was this drama with Sam? Because he stopped making content for a very long time. And then he just came back that day at Zoo? Yeah, no, he. I think he had been making some stream stuff in, in uh, Miami, and then I think he planned to come out here for, like, all this stuff, mm. which is why I think he came prepared. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm great. Do you want me to burp you? No, I'm good. Contrary to belief, I'm not a big baby. I'm an adult. I'm 34. I can burp myself. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. that just made me want to pinch your cheeks. Wow. Okay. This is great. I'm mm. not a child. I am 34. I'm an adult. Uh, I should start telling you I'm 27. No one's going to believe you. I'm 27. You and Jeff are both the same age. Chat. I'm 27 years Chat. old. Chat. I need like Jeff, five more years. You Jeff know, I know someone who lies about their age who doesn't want it, who, 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 who does not say their age. Who? Lean be fatty. I don't know about her at all. She but doesn't talk about her age. I don't know about her, but I know a guy who you know, who you know too. It's funny. I'll tell you off camera. I'll just put it this way. He's, he's avoided my podcast for some time. I think he's afraid to answer some questions. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, con contrary, like I said, I'm not a big baby. Um, subscribe to the channel. You are. You're, Brad, I really, I'm not. I'm not a big baby. I love you. I'm not a big baby. Subscribe to the channel every Thursday, 11 a.m. on the dot. We'll be here ready. I love you guys. We appreciate you. I know Sarah really does appreciate you guys. And We uh, love you guys. We love you so much. And I'm going to figure out a way to set up the... Like, so you guys can audibly tell us stuff or ask us questions, and then we'll, like, react to it live on the podcast. Oh, that'd be so good. It's it's amazing. I, I already <clears> know <throat> how to do it. So we'll have to be, like, we'll post on, like, whatever Snapchat or Instagram and be like, yo, drop your questions here, and then you guys can answer us. Ask, answer us. You guys can ask us any questions there, and then we'll pull the audio so you guys can hear yourself, and then we can hear you, and we'll respond live. So I love you guys. Uh, I'm out of here. I'm going to go train. I love you guys. I'm going to go home and go to bed. <laughs> That's <laughs> insane it's crazy because it's like one o'clock it's okay. three it's three. love you guys see you next week i appreciate you <laughs> good night sarah <laughs> good night say good night say it back good night baby good night dude we're done i love you okay Papi chulo. Right,